Hi there, it's Lon. I'm the uh, parish priest, of course, at uh, the parish of Central Saanich, St. Mary's, and St. Stephen's. And we have worship services on Sunday at 9 o'clock at St. Mary's, 11.15 at St. Stephen's. I'm also the regional archdeacon for the Western Peninsula and Gulf Islands region of the Diocese of Islands and Inlets. So it's an honor and a privilege to speak to you today or anytime. I, this coming Sunday, I'm preparing to preach for Sunday, the 9th of July, Pentecost 6. Uh, we'll be hearing Matthew's Gospel, Chapter 11, portions of it. I'm going to read you just a few verses. I think it'll be familiar to you. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take up my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will be you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As we hear that piece of scripture, you may be reminded of funerals you've attended, or you may be reminded of different times in the year that it comes up, or you may be reminded of, of uh, analogies or metaphors about backpacks being lifted off your back, um, which are good. You know, if you're carrying heavy weight, if you're carrying anxiety or worry or upset or disappointment or you're angry at God or you can't see God in a certain situation. Well, this is a great scripture to help you along. And, you know, it's uh, easy to kind of just stay on the surface and kind of think of it as that, well, it's a weight off my shoulders. And if I go to God, I'm going to be okay. But what about when it's really extreme and you're really struggling? Um, I say to you that this scripture still speaks to you. It's an invitation. We've been talking about response to invitation for a few weeks now and a few weeks to come. And so this invitation, come to me, all that are weary. So God calls you when you're tired, when you're angry, when you're lonely, when you're frustrated, when things aren't going well for you. He calls you and he says, here, let me help. Let me carry those burdens with you. Let me give you rest. And yoke is a sort of agricultural uh, reference, kind of an old one, but to do with, with um, horses or oxen or animals like that being being in a yoke. But I think that for us, it's really about, about uh, connection. It's about who are we connected to? Are we connected? Are we yoked with God? Or are we connected and yoked to other things that may not be of God or resemble God? It's not to say that whenever bad things are happening, you must be doing something terrible. Not at all. Uh, but it does mean that it's not a bad thing to examine your life uh, as you struggle, because often uh, as you're in the midst of the most extreme struggles, there could be a breakthrough just around the corner. I think the Chinese word for crisis is opportunity, if I translate it correctly. And I think that's kind of what this is about. It's kind of Jesus saying, look, you know, I, I know what you're going through. I feel for you. I'm with you. Stay close to me. Stay yoked to me. Stay looking straight down the road. We will get through this together. So we serve a wonderful and amazing, incredible, warm, loving, gracious God who, yes, accepts us where we are, but also guides us along through change and transformation. So it's my hope that we will meet again soon. And uh, to, if you're able to be with us in worship Sunday, that's fantastic. If uh, you're out there in the wild, wide world somewhere and we're not connecting this Sunday, may you travel with God and be blessed. And that I say to each of you, be blessed and stay close to God.